Hello and welcome back to 99 Games. My name is Jan and today we want to set up a pretty basic health system in Unity and Bold. So Bold is a visual scripting tool if you don't know. The link is in the description to the asset store. So if you want to add it to your assets, it's free. You can use the link in the description. But now let's go on. At first I have here a normal project. It's 3D, so URP project. And we want to add a new scene. So go to your scenes folder, right click, create a scene and let's call it health. Let's open up our new scene. What do we actually want to do? We want to have a player, which will be just a sphere. We want to have an enemy. And if the player touches the enemy, we will get decreasing our health. And we want to show that with just a simple text for now. After that, if we reach zero or less from our health, we want to destroy the game object that is a sphere, what we would call the player. Okay, so let's start. So at first, let's go to our hierarchy and add the three objects that we need. At first, a sphere. I want to set it to zero, zero, zero. I want to add a cube so we can better see which is which so it's same position for now and there's the camera so what i want to do is so we can see it better later on is i want to bring the cube to the side to select just like this okay and then we need a text so we want to create a ui text so what we have here right now is the event system the text and the text is the child of the canvas so the canvas we want to set from constant pixel size to scale with screen size by 3840 by 2160 so a 4k resolution and that's it for now the text will be maybe something like health 100 so just for the start we have health at 100 okay so let's double click on the text and you see we zoom in the text and you see it's way too small and if we go to the game view right here we don't even see it because it's so small and it doesn't look very good so what we want to do is at first i want to make the best fit option down here so what this is doing at the moment nothing but you can now go up here to your you know, to the head is a move tool, rotation, and so on. And you have this rectangle right here. Uh, if you zoom in, you see we have four points that we can grip and pull it up. So nothing changes because we have the maximum size of the text at 40. But I want to go with 500. Okay, so this is the maximum size. And you see if I now make it smaller, this box, it will, you know, get smaller as well. So the text. And like this, you can pretty easily, you know, place your text and make it bigger smaller and yeah, you can have this minimum size maximum size settings changed so it's really great okay one thing i want to do as well is i want to bring my main camera a little bit more towards oh that was a little bit too much i want just to see our two objects i want the player to be called player and the enemy or the cube want to call it enemy okay and i want to add a tag for our cube and the cube will be tagged as enemy as well we will use it later. Okay, one thing I would like to change is as well, I want to use another material because I think we don't see it very good. So I make the enemy like this. Well, orange, I don't know. <laughs> Some of the materials that come with the URP, like for the test object. And our player will be maybe yellow. Beautiful. So now that we have our basic scene set up, we want to add a bold flow machine to our player. So let's go to our player. At first, we want to add another sphere collider because we want to do it by a trigger. So add component sphere collider. This will be a trigger. So set here trigger and the radius will be a little bit bigger. Okay. And the enemy for now doesn't need anything else than just a trigger. So go to your enemy and set it as a trigger. If you have a game, you should maybe do the same like I did before with the player. So you have a trigger and a collider but in this case doesn't really matter let's go back to our player we need a rigid body as well so rigid body that's it i don't want to use gravity because i want to manually move it it will of course in the whole game be a little bit different so then we, you of course have gravity and so on and i want to add a new component and this will be here under bold i mean if you don't know how to install bold there's a video up here that you can watch too see it okay so and i want to add a flow machine i want to add a new one and under let's see scenes folder and let's call this player. We could, of course, call it health or whatever you like. But since this object right here, this player just has this one function, functionality of getting health, getting damage and so on. That's just fine. So let's add it to graph. And what you see right here, we have a start function and an update function. We want to get rid of both of them. <laughs> and we want to add an on trigger event. 
and that is the on trigger enter that is what we have right here if we enter with our collider with our trigger so the player's trigger another trigger what will happen then we want at first decrease our health we want to change the text so we see how much health we have left and if it's zero we want to destroy the game object that's called player just if it's called enemy so the tag is enemy okay so on trigger enter one thing i would like to add at first is if you right click here you see this is opening this menu you can type in cool down i like to add this at first so just connect this green arrow with the green arrow right here and the duration so how long will the cooldown take is 0.1 seconds in this case you can of course say it's like one second so you get damage and one second after that you don't get damage anymore and if we are ready we want to check if the tag of the touching object is enemy so just let's pull out this arrow right here release it and you see it's opening the units here and let's type in branch so here you see that and branch what does it do you can get information to the branch and then is this true or false and you can say just if it's true this and this will happen okay but what will be true what what do we want to check we want to compare two strings so the enemy's tag and the tag we type in so let's pull that out and we go a little bit backwards now so i want to say string equals so here you see string equals a and b a will be the collider so we can pull out here the collider and say because this is a game object we want to get the tag of it so get tag so game object tag got, dot get and you see we have an orange dot right here point and an orange point right here good sign we can co combine them and we pull out this one here make just a string and in our case we just want to have it if it's called enemy so what will now happen is we go on the trigger enter. We want to see if something is true or false. And what do we want to check if these are the same? Okay, but what will happen then? Then we want to decrease our health and we want to change the text. And these two variables, so the text as a game object and the, and the health as an integer, we want to define now. So let's go here to our variables and to scene or scene. And we want to add a new uh, variable that's called health. It will not be of type null, <laughs> it will be int so integer so full numbers and the value will be a hundred just for the beginning and we will add a new variable and that is called text okay and it will be of type game object perfect and we don't have it right oh did we have it click here on this you know point right here and you can go to assets uh, and you can go to scene and here you see text so this is text so we already now defined which text we want to change if you have more than one text you should of course not just call it text but more like health text or whatever you like okay and that's the first thing we want to change we want to change the text let's pull out the true here because if this is true so if the strings of the text is are the same then what will happen at first we want to set a text so release it let's see right here text dot text set this is the one we need right here and now we have the options to say okay which text do we want to change so what we can do is we just pull it out because it's not on ourselves the text is not an object of the player so just let's pull it out right here and now we can type in variables or just var <laughs> it's just enough and you can get a variable so get a scene variable so we have a new window right here we can just pull it down and see no we don't need the house we need the text variable okay which is the object and then we just can type in health like 80 that wouldn't work because then the text would always be like 80 let's say if we touch it the health will decrease by 20 okay so let's pull it down a bit so we have a little bit more space right here so we, at first we want to get the variable so the variable health so how much do we have currently so let's add a new unit get health here we go so now we get the health and we want to subtract it. So subtract, we have here muscular. We just pull it in here. So health will be subtracted with 20. So if it's 100, it will then be 80. And now we have an integer right here. So it's a number, but we need it as a string because we want to set text and not just a number. You cannot just throw an integer into a string. That doesn't work. So, But what we can do pretty easy, int to string. Here we go, int to string. And the value we have is here this 80 in this case then, if we just subtract 20. And we just could pull put it in here, but that's not what we really want because we want to have like health 80 or something. So it would just say 80, but I want to have it combined with a little bit of a different text. What we can do for that is at first we want to set a new string. So string the drill and the string will be health. Something like this. And now we want to combine this both. Okay, so let's put it 
I don't know, put, put it up because the health is, of course, health, yeah, is first. <laughs> and there is a unit that's called concat. See it right here, string concat. We want to have two arguments. So argument one will be health, and the second will be the number of our health. Okay, and then we can just bring it to our text. So what we do right here is we calculate how much health, health do we have left. Then we want to combine the text, and that is what will be displayed as the new text. But now we have, of course, to set the health, so the variable health as well, because this is just a text. So let's test what will happen if we just play the game right now. Let's say play. Okay, here we go. So we have health 100. Nothing happens because the enemy is not tagged. We defined a tag, but we have to apply it, of course. <laughs> so now let's go back to the game. Let's take our sphere right here and let's bring it into the, our enemy. So it's 80. But what will happen if we do the same again? We'll still be 80. See that? Because we don't set the health. The health is still at 100. Just the text changes. These are two different things. So let's go back to our graph. And now let's just set as next. We want to set our variable. So set variable. Or you can type in set health. See, set health. So this will happen next. And what will be the health? It will be the it will be the 80 in this case. So let's just drag it out here. So the same values that we will display will be the health, of course. Let's bring it down or like like this, just a little bit. Clean it up a little bit. <laughs> That's a little bit better if the strings you don't you know. Okay, now we can save it. Let's close it again and play it again. And now you will see it will work and will decrease. So we can bring it to the side 80, 60, 40, 20, 0, minus 20. That should not happen. We now want to destroy the game object. So like a simple death uh, if we reach 0 or less. Because it could be that uh, maybe it is like 30. It's decreasing by 30. Then we would have 100, 70, 40, 10. And then minus 20, there is no zero. So if you just say health equals zero, then we die. Then we wouldn't die if it's minus 20. Okay, so let's go back right here and let's add another branch. Okay, so let's connect them. And now we have to compare two integers. So let's right click here, add a unit, less or equal. You see that right here? So if it's less or if it's equal, we will then do something. So B is zero. Zero is just fine and A will be our health. So what we can, we can just drag it out and say get health. Okay, and you see now we get, now it's checking after we set everything up, if we are at zero or less and what we want to do then, if this is true, we want to destroy, yeah, destroy a game object. And the object will be ourself because this is on the player, this whole thing. So let's just pull it out and you see down here, it says already self and that's it. So let's save it. Let's close it and let's test it a last time. Okay, see? So 80, 60, 40, 20. It's gone. So it's that easy. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please leave me a comment on what you would see as well when it comes to bold. I want to do this really, really often now. I, I really like to do these videos. I make them with really much fun. It's really fun for me. So please leave me a comment. Please leave me a like. And there are some courses down there that you can grab. It's more the art kind of style. So pixel art and so on. But if you're interested in this, go down and get them at Udemy. And I have the asset store linked in the description so you can grab both as well. And I hope I see you next time. Bye.